All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, so uh, Peter Cottontail is going to be hopping down that bunny trail pretty soon, and oftentimes leaving a lot of candy for those kids, and you're going to have all these uh, people in town maybe for some Easter egg hunts. And let's talk some healthy <laughs> options, and we're going to get tricky, right, Caitlin? Yes, this is one of my favorite appetizers, and I just think it's so bright, and it kind of yep. makes us feel like spring. Yeah. So um, it's a veggie pizza, very, very easy appetizer, and a great way to get an extra serving of veggies in, especially when we know we're going to have some sweet Easter treats. Looks like so. a lot of veggies here. So what are a our core veggies. ingredients? So First off, we've got our crust, and I just used a um, Pillsbury crust. You could use crescent rolls if you like. One tip, I love these silicone baking mats. If you're a baker, you've got to try these out. Nothing sticks to them. It's oh, awesome. We so, go through those pans like crazy. That's a good tip right off yes. the top. So we've got our crust. I just baked it for the package directions. Okay. And then for our sauce, I have a mixture. You know I like my Greek yogurt, so a great source of protein, um, calcium, love this one and I mixed that with a Neuchatel cheese. Now what this is it's essentially cream cheese but it's made with whole milk so we can't call it cream cheese. Okay. But you really wouldn't know the difference but we're just saving some calories. Okay. And I mixed those with a Hidden Valley Ranch packet for our ranch flavor so we're just going to spread this on our pizza crust and then I had a veggie tray that I you can't even tell I took any veggies out of it but I just skimmed some off the top that's from there. That's from that veggie tray. Yeah, can you tell I even wow. took any from that? So this really goes a long way. A little goes a long way, and this is a great one to make after the holiday too, um, if you need to use up any leftover veggies. Okay. So we're gonna sprinkle these on. I've got carrots, celery, broccoli, cauliflower, bell pepper. Uh, you could do tomato, whatever you like. Very very simple. You could stop there, but I'm gonna do a little bit of sharp cheddar Why cheese. Why stop now? Let's just be <laughs> rebels here. Yeah little bit of shredded cheese and then I like to garnish it with a little bit of dill just kind of play off of those okay nice See, flavors this is where you got the kids now you throw a little cheese on there and then you can call it pizza exactly for sure <laughs> but a really nice appetizer you can cut this into triangles and it really serves a lot of people yeah, so I'm kidding very good uh, for you. folks that uh, come to fairway remember they also have if meat's more your thing, they have one of the best meat counters that you'll find in the entire state. Uh, other good uh, healthy recipe ideas, where should they go? We've got lots of great recipes at fairway.com or you can email me directly at sensiblehealth at fairwaystores.com. Caitlin's standing by. Good to see you. Thanks for these tips. Thank you. And good luck on those Easter egg hunts. Make room <laughs> for this stuff too. We'll be right back.